and welcome to The Healing Garden. My name is Nye. Today I just wanted to do a short video of some simple breathing techniques you can do to help reduce stress levels. Our body is continually working to create homeostasis or balance and there are hundreds of physiological responses happening in our body every second that continually adapt to our ever-changing environment. Breathing, for example, is highly influenced by emotional states. These states can be negative, such as stress, anxiety, fear, pain, or they can be positive, pleasure, love, relief, contentment. Typically, when we experience negative states, our breathing tends to become shallow, erratic, and speeds up. When we are not breathing deeply, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in our lungs gets out of whack. This sets off a chain of physiological responses that exacerbate our stress. So here are just a few quick and simple breathing exercises you can do to reset a deeper breath, restore balance, and reduce stress and anxiety. So the first one is sighing. Sighing is one of the easiest ways to reset your breath. You may have noticed when you are stressed or agitated that you tend to sigh more. Sighing is one of the ways the body self-regulates our breath. So let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall so that we have room for our rib cage and our diaphragm and our belly to expand as we take in a deep breath and sigh it out. So breathing in and sigh it out. And breathing in again and sigh it out. And let's do one more. Breathing in nice and deep into the belly and sigh it out. So just take a moment and notice how the body and the brain feel right now after sighing. You should feel a little bit calmer. You should kind of feel like maybe a little bit of a weight has been taken off you. So this is kind of the first step to moving down into a more relaxed state. Typically, I recommend doing this breath two to three times. Any more than three, the rush of oxygen that you're taking into the body tends to make you feel a little lightheaded or dizzy. So two to three is, is a good amount of breaths to practice the sighing breath. Sighing helps signal our bodies to turn on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is our relaxed state of being. So the second breath that we are going to do is breath awareness or intentional breathing. So I just want you to take a moment and take a couple of regular normal breaths and just notice the qualities of your breath. Is it shallow? Is it deep? Does it feel rushed? Is it calm? Is it fast? Is it steady and even? Or is it choppy and chaotic? So just take a few breaths and notice how the breath feels in your body right now. And now that you've noticed the qualities of your breath, what we are going to do is we are going to breathe with intention. And what that means is we are going to intentionally breathe in through our nose, nice and deep, expanding the breath into our chest, our diaphragm and our bellies, and then slowly exhaling by constricting our bellies, our diaphragm and our lungs, allowing that breath to exhale through our nose at a nice and slow pace. So we're just taking a deep, steady, slow, even breath intentionally. So again, sitting up nice and tall so that we have room for the chest, the rib cage, the diaphragm and the belly all to expand with this nice deep breath. We'll go ahead and start breathing. So inhaling in, expanding the chest, the diaphragm, the belly, and then exhaling, constricting the belly, the diaphragm, chest, breathing out through the nose. So we're going to do this a couple of times. So again, just breathing in nice and deep down into the belly and exhaling nice and slow back out through the nose. And again, as you are doing this breath, just take a moment to notice how this breath feels in your body and compare it to how it felt before you were breathing intentionally. 
you should feel a little bit more calm, a little bit more relaxed. You should feel less stressed, less anxiety. And this is all done just by intentionally breathing a slower, deeper, and more steady breath. So you can do this five times or more if needed. Um, I know sometimes my kids start fighting, it may take me up to 10 of these breaths to kind of bring myself down to a calm state. So this breath can be done at any time, and again, as many times as you need to bring yourself back to a calmer state in your body. The third breath we are going to look at is my favorite breath in the whole world. It's the two to one breath. So once you have established a nice, steady, even deep breath as a baseline, this is a natural progression for the next breath that you would move into to really just bring us down into a hyper relaxed state. It almost makes you feel like you're going to fall asleep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out again sitting or standing nice and tall, giving our body room to expand with our deep inhalations. And we're just gonna practice that intentional breath, that nice, steady, even, deep breath. So let's do a couple of rounds of that, just establishing that rhythm and pace. So on your next inhale, what I want you to do is to silently count to yourself how long your inhalation is. It could be a four count, maybe a five count, maybe even a six count. We want to breathe in naturally, so we don't want to breathe in so deeply that it starts to hurt and create stress or distraction in the body. So it should be a natural expansion, expand to where you feel comfortable. When you have reached that point, that's the end of your count. And then as you exhale, you want to increase that count. So say you were breathing into a four count. When you exhale, you want to try to extend that exhalation to an eight count. Now, when you first start doing this, you might not quite reach that eight count. You might make it to six or seven, and that's okay. The point is, is what we are working towards is making that exhalation longer, hopefully twice as long as the inhale. But again, the more you practice this breath, the easier it gets. So we'll go ahead and we'll continue with that steady, even breath. And then when you are ready, on your inhale, you're gonna silently count your inhalation count. So inhaling, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale again, up to your count. And then exhale, trying to double the length of your inhalation. So we're gonna do this a couple of times, breathing in to a comfortable inhalation count and trying to increase that exhalation to double the inhalation. And now you can return to a normal, even breath, but just take a moment and notice how that felt in the body when you slowed that exhalation down. So when we inhale, it is naturally stimulating in the body because we're bringing oxygen into the body. So when you breathe in, you kind of feel like this movement into the lungs, maybe some tingling in the body, maybe some movement of energy or prana in the body. And that's a little bit stimulating. But then when we exhale, it kind of calms everything down. So if we lengthen that exhale and make it longer than the inhale, it helps make our breath more calming and more relaxing. Some of you have, may have noticed that when you do that exhale, it just kind of, all of a sudden, your body just kind of goes and really just feels like it's slowing down. Some of you may have noticed you felt sleepy or tired. Again, this is a really great breath for really bringing you into a deep state of relaxation. I typically find myself using this breath when I am in heavy traffic. I have no patience for traffic. Um, so that is the two to one breath. Again, these are just three simple breathing techniques or exercises that you can do in about five to 10 minutes to help return the body and mind to a more relaxed state. They're all simple to do. You can come back and revisit this video. The more you practice them, the easier they become and the more automatic it becomes. And when I say it becomes more automatic, when you start feeling stress, 
It just becomes your go-to thing to do. Your body just automatically knows, hey, I feel stressed, I need to start breathing deeper. And it becomes our automated response, which means long-term, we start reacting to stress in more healthy ways and our body automatically knows how to reduce those levels of stress and bring ourselves back into a parasympathetic state. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you wanna be notified of new videos like this one when they are uploaded, then please subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day and always stay calm in a chaotic world. Thank you so much.